Tell us, bro. All right, guys. All right, everyone. If you feel as though you got to talk or you got a little snippet of the um, song, just meet your boss for a second, everyone. And welcome, welcome, welcome to season one, episode two of Print Charm School. All right? Let's introduce our beautiful, beautiful, charming gentleman in box two. We have nothing but plenty Henny. Hey, Henny. I'm on me. Is there anything you want to say? Okay, you want to say anything to the ladies and men? I'm not. Just thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for, my, for, for rocking with me. That's it. Okay. All right. Box three will um, be um, Koi the boy, but he is not here tonight. And um, we'll figure that out later. Box four in the building. Hey, Larry. Hey, um, how you I'm doing? Say, I'm doing real good. And everybody, thank y'all for y'all support, and everybody look good tonight. Here it. All right, Cartier, the, the long way. Let's go, Box Five. How you what's doing? Good, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Same here. Thank y'all for coming out there and supporting me. I see y'all down there. I see y'all. Run it up. Run it up. Keep it running. All right, Box Number Six, Sparrow the Body. Body yada yada. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good. All right, so Ferris, so you know you're a little bit far from the camera. If that's your angle, then that's good. But a little bit, if you can just come up a little, an inch. There you go. Give us some Pharaoh. You look, oh, we are, look at that. Five points for you already. All right, then we got Shimmy, Shimmy, yay, Shimmy, yo, Shimmy, who? Shim, cool kid. Hey, Shim. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for all the support. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thanks to my, to my family, the hustle collector. Everybody in the park. Everybody in the park. All right. Then we got Miliati. Miliati, why are you sitting? Why are you sitting? Hey. I'm saying low. How is it now? Yeah. You've got a little higher. How is it now? Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. How is it now? Is it good? We t- we'll take it. It looks much better. I like we got Rika and the doll. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Period. I'm here. All right. And we got the sneakiest of them all. What's up, Sneaky? What's going on, y'all? What's up? I just want to say, everybody, I hope everybody do well. Ain't no shame over here. We are we here for one thing. Awesome. And last but not least, we got Fred. What's up? What's happening, everybody? Uh, yeah, what's good? Perfect. Right. Basically, so, so one of you got on two devices, so you got to be mindful. If you don't have on two devices, you got to turn one device down or mute your box. So be mindful of that. Are so basically, the guys... So the guys were chosen um, last week to be, be on the show, and this is season one of Prince Charm School, episode two. And basically, they were given homework on last um, last week, and their homework was basically to write a heartfelt letter on who or what hurt you. Okay, who or what hurt you? And a lot of the gentlemen here chose father uh, and mother, and some chose childhood, and some just chose, you know, their feelings. Like, I need to tap into that. I really want to know what's going on within me. So basically, we are going to um, get the opportunity to listen to those beautiful letters. And once we listen to those letters, you know, everyone to get their moment to read their letter, take their time, take a deep breath and just read your letter. And then um, basically the judges are the, the ladies and gentlemen that are in the comments. They are your judges. They control a high, high, high percent of the vote. Also, we have the poll going on now with, with Twitter and that we'll have the poll going on throughout the evening. Hello, 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 Rain. Um, so what we're going to do now is basically start the show. We are waiting on my handsome, handsome son, Sir Brock, to get it together. Um, but while he's getting together, I definitely want to go ahead and, um, you know, just ask, let's ask the gentlemen how they're feeling tonight. Um, Henny, starting with you, like, um, tell us your approach on writing your letter and how did you feel it was? How, how was it? Was it an easy process? Um, no. 
it wasn't because it was like trying to find the right words and trying to find like you know like try to not you know um like I'm I'm kind of working on like you know it's not what you say it's how you say it so I'm just like you know it's just like how I like how I said it how I like I'm just working on like you know how I approach her because of our relationship and because you know sometimes you know the way I speak to her it can't come off misconstrued as I'm being rude but it's just me being passionate and you know that take like that kind of you know plays a part in her not knowing her kid you know what I'm saying so. Yeah, so it's kind of a touchy, 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 touchy subject, this letter right now. I'm not going to hold you. Well, we'll appreciate you for even attempting it. Would you say that you completed your assignment? 100%. Thank you. All right, Larry. Um, Larry, talk to us. Tell us about the assignment and, and tell me if you experienced any halts or difficulties. Um, to be honest, I, I took some time, so like I took like a day to think about it, and I was able to actually you know, open up and write the letter and um, really go through it. Even though like some parts after I was like went over and read it after I wrote it, like it messed me up a little bit. But then I was able to overcome it and you know try to read it in the mirror and do better. Perfect. Would you say that you completed your homework this evening? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right, thank you, Larry. Cartier, how was it um, laying it all out, laying it all out on paper? Oh my God, it was it was a high. I chose childhood in the moment, thinking that would help me say less, and I ended up having to say more. So it's kind of it was hard. I appreciate you, and will you feel that you completed your assignment? Yeah, I, I feel like I did. Okay. All right, Pharaoh. How was it? How was it with going through the motions of your assignment? Um, I don't really be vulnerable. I'm not a vulnerable person, so I like kind of gave an inanimate object, you know, a, a human characteristic, and I actually wrote a letter to my anger. So it's like I'm talking to a person, but I'm really talking to my anger. So it's like, yeah. So I, I actually wrote a letter to a person to me. So it's like that's I a deep like, approach. Yeah. Yeah. And will you feel that you completed that assignment? Um, I think I did. All right. Okay. All right. So, Sham, um, how are you? And talk to us about the approach. Uh, my approach with my approach with my letter is not um, too strong or deep because, like, I think I read the letter based on me and how I feel. It's not going to be a deep letter, but which is, I think I completed it. It's not going to be deep. It's going to be. So, Miliati, talk to us about your approach. About our approach. Uh, so, basically, y'all, uh, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit before the show started. So, basically, you know, I've been preparing for this the whole, whole week, y'all, and when I tell y'all, like, the devil has literally been trying to step in the way, but I ain't even gonna let him interfere with that. Because when he steps in the way, because he see God got a lot of stuff going for me. But basically, push come to shove, I was just talking about my father, you know, how my father went into my life. You know, I was growing up, and, you know, I was the one, like, as being a hard head, you know. I'm a hard head. I got to learn everything the hard way. You know, I can't, I ain't, I'm the type, I don't listen to nobody. So my dad, you know, he played he play a big part, and... He used to tell me, like, you know, I had got locked up or whatever. And he said, when he when I get out of jail, he was going to take me fishing. So when I got out of jail, he would take me fishing. It's like, dang, nigga, I'm a man more than you is. Like, what? When I have kids, I ain't going to never treat them like that. I'm going to show you how to be a father. And that's go to you, father. You feel me? No scout. Okay. Thank you so much. And will you say that you completed your assignment? Yes, ma'am. I would say I completed even though the devil tried to interfere, but he didn't work. Amen. Thank you so much. All right, Rican. Talk. I did get emotional because it takes me back to the, the past, which I do not like looking back at the past, but that's what, you know, made me stronger. So, um, yeah, I kept it sweet and simple and to the point, and I hope you guys like it and feel my emotion. 
And will you say that you completed your assignment? Yes, I did complete my assignment. Beautiful. All right. Sneaky, talk to us, please. Um, for my assignment, I actually didn't write it right away because I had, like, blocked up a lot of that in my childhood because I, I went through it as a child wondering, you know, where the name was at. So, you know, it was just like I kind of, like, already blocked that out and learned how to be able to even speak about it. So at the end of the day, having to tap back into it, it took me a little bit, but I definitely got it on paper, and I do feel like I did complete the assignment. Perfect. Okay, number 11, talk to us about your approach and your tactic. Over the- uh, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, ain't, I ain't writing on that. I, I was scared, to, you know, to express how I feel towards my mom and my dad. Like, with my mama, I was bet- I felt betrayed and misplaced. And my dad tried to act as if I wasn't. You know what I mean? So, I feel lost. Like, I don't, I don't be knowing what's going on with me and shit. So I be trying to, I don't be trying to think about nothing like this. Because I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, let everybody know about that. I don't be trying to think of nothing like this. So I just write no letter to nobody like that. Cause I don't, I don't think they understand where I'm coming from, and they don't. Thank you, Fred. Oh boy. So the comments say they're praying for you, Fred. Okay. All right. So, um, Brock, are you finished? Are you ready? All right, so guys, um, so this is how deep and intimate this is going to be tonight. I'm sorry. This is how deep and intimate this is really going to get tonight. So this is just a start. Okay. Um, We haven't even read a letter. Thank you. We haven't even read a letter yet, and um, this is how real it's going to get. But one thing we have to do for Fred. does anybody on the panel want to say some words to Fred? Any of the brothers in, uh, uh, in Prince Charm School right now? I, I, um, I'm going to say this. I talk to Fred all the time. So, like, me and Fred have conversations. So, I'll call you later, Fred, and console you and, like, talk to you more about it and go in depth with it. Um, I'm going to pray for you because I didn't know that you, you know, felt like that about your parents. I'm gonna be real anybody with you. else would like to? Um, I'm going to be real with you. Bro, sometimes you got to cry, bro. Like, and out sometimes, and sometimes you gotta face it so that it's like, cause it's not gonna do nothing but make you stronger. You feel me? Like, we all got, we all got stuff that we done had to step over and obstacles that we had to, like, that we had to get to. But at the same time, bro, like, you got brothers that's willing to, like, you know what I'm saying, like, support you and, like, be that support system that you may need. Like, you could come to us, type. Like, it's, it's not just gonna be a show for me. If you wanna build a relationship outside of this, we can do that too. Because everybody needs somebody. And if you need somebody that you need to talk to, bro, for real, just hit me. No funny. And that's not no cap. That's not for this, for the views, none of that. Just me talk, talking to people from my heart. Because I've been there. And, and, but, but you got to forgive them first. You got to forgive them. And then you'll be able to breathe and move forward, bro. Go to. But hit me if you need No funny. And I also wanted to say, bro, look, this definitely deceiving, bro, because I wouldn't have thought that you was going through all of that with the way you, you know, carry yourself. You always in high spirit. You always making a joke out of everything for me, so I didn't even know that you was even going through that. So it's, it's just crazy to look at how people really mask their feelings and stuff like that. You feel me, bro? And you're going to be all right, bro. Don't worry about it. Everybody going through their trials and tribulations. You're going to get through that. And if you need help, just like Henny said, and just like Farrell said, I got you too, bro. Ain't nothing. Oh, I was Fred, like, as, as the principal. Oh, okay. Go ahead, brothers. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now you can go. Okay. You go. You got it. Fred, I just want to say that I love you, man. Like, I know that, you know, 
wall from the first day that you came. You had such a big wall up. Um, you really didn't want us to know who you really were. So for you to be vulnerable tonight, I have, I'm sorry I was cam down on you guys. I was getting dressed and, you know, trying to be prepared for you guys. Fred, I just want to say thank you so much and I respect you so much more and I understand you so much more tonight by being open and vulnerable with us. Now we're able to little brother you. Now we're able to nephew you. Now we understand why you are so guarded. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say I, I appreciate you so much and I love you so much and I thank you so much for being open and honest and just vulnerable with who who you are and what you're going through. Look at all the look at the comments. Look at the comments. Look how many people love you just for being vulnerable and being open. Like, that was absolutely amazing, Fred. And I have a different level of respect for you. I don't think you take this as a joke. And I understand, like, you know, you're just protecting your heart and protecting your feelings. And you're just uncomfortable with being vulnerable, which we all are. But we love you. We love you, Fred. Thank you. Well, all I got right. to say is... I want to can I say one thing. I want to say one thing to everybody up here. You know, it's very, very, very honorable. You know, it might not be in y'all eyes, but to me, it's very, very honorable because I was just talking to my supporters how I said that I wanted to be on the show on Bego, y'all. And when I tell y'all, God, something this, y'all, it's very honorable. And Fred, bro, this is bro. You feel me? All you gotta do if don't nobody believe you, bro, believe in yourself, bro. You share a prosper, like. When you ain't got nobody else to call on, bro, that man up there above, man, he with you. I'm telling y'all, he that man is powerful, man. When I ain't got nobody else to call on, bro, I get down on my knees, bro, and I cry into that man, and everything go as planned, bro. Just stay up, my nigga. We here for a reason, bro. We all here for a reason, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah. I just want to shout out all the beautiful men that is on the panel dressed up to the nine, y'all. They have on button ups, they have on bow ties. Like, what other show have you guys seen on Big O where this many upstanding, educated, powerful black men get to sit together and have a conversation? And we're not tearing each other down. We're uplifting each other. So I just want to shout out to all the beautiful black men and Latino men <laughs> that are up here tonight. Every culture, every race, being vulnerable, loving each other, uplifting each other, embracing each other, and not ridiculing each other until I do it at the motherfucking end. Because I do see some hairs that could have been cut. I see some shirts that could be a little tighter. I see a little bit of motherfucking technique that I could re critique but I'm gonna pay it for now cause you punks is up here crying tonight and I ain't in the motherfucking mood right? I'm only supposed to wear I'm white though you got on black I'm the principal you're supposed to wear white oh, okay. hey hold on yes. hold on bro hey, hey bro listen hold on wait ain't nothing wrong with a thug crying you know a thug cry a thug oh, we love the thug uh 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 Zell uh uh Zell quiet quiet Zell I am on the way to a funeral because someone must go home tonight <laughs> somebody that's why I'm dressed for a funeral because somebody's going home tonight okay <laughs> and we hope it's not one of the Hollywood elites <laughs> yeah, these punks is crying that was so insensitive okay well guess what if it is guess what we cry but it's to have a backbone too so if you can't take a little punk if you can't take a little jab how many other niggas called you a punk before well, I wasn't talking about me. But okay, yeah. well, listen, listen. Hey, okay, I'm just I'm saying, not how lying. many niggas jump in y'all face day to day? How many fist fights you black, educated, handsome men up here been in before? So if y'all can't take me calling you a little punk or a sissy, drop. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, We love you, Fred. Talk about me. Because you know how to take it. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. So, okay. Um, class is in session. Let's get into it, okay? Um, we're here for um, one main purpose, of course. The, we're going to crown Prince Charm, all right, at, at some point. <laughs> and um, tonight, without further ado, we want to get these homework assignments out. We want to see who started one, who completed one. And uh, respectfully, Fred, we love you. And we'll, we'll just get through it through not, uh, tonight, okay, Fred? All right. So um, do we want to choose who starts first, or does anyone want to volunteer? 
I think there should be no no volunteers. Box two. Henny, let's start with you and move down. Alright, um, y'all gonna hear me clear? Alright, um, so I would run it to my mother. Um, dear mom, I pray that this letter finds you in the best of spirits. I've been trying to find the words to fill the pages with for days now, and it's been a struggle. I'm not the best when it comes to expressing myself, and truthfully, I kind of resent you for that part of me. I don't want you to say, I don't, I don't want you to feel attacked at all by anything I say in this letter. It's meant for healing purposes only. I think we've had enough hurt to last a lifetime. I love you dearly, and I appreciate you still because most people don't have the opportunity to say their mother was a part of their lives, and I can't. I want to first off start by saying I love you. We as people all have faults and things we have to work on. I'm just trying to get to a place within myself where I can find healthy ways to do so. I've been going through life not realizing that every woman I deal with is just getting cut by shards of a broken me. I feel abandoned, alone, disregarded, and emotionally unstable. I'll never say you were a bad mother because you weren't. However, when it came to the emotional aspect of parenthood, you were cold and detached. Anytime I needed warmth, I always had to go to my dad. Which is crazy because most times it's the opposite. There were times when I needed my mom to hold me and tell me everything was going to be okay. That no matter what you had, like, like no matter what, you had me. I'm 34 and I'm still waiting on that. So in some ways this letter is also an apology to me. I'm sorry to myself for putting my life on an emotional hole waiting for you to do something for me that you never probably would have done for yourself. I genuinely believe that you did your best and I'm trying to come to terms with the fact that things I needed and want from you I may never get. There are nights when I break down at the thought of you one day calling me your son and telling me you love me. However, I also do understand that we don't always get everything we want. I hope nothing I said in this letter offends you if I came or came off as any type of disrespect because I hold you to the highest regard. I just have to start telling and acknowledging my truth because if I don't, I just continue to be broken and to break others. Well, I love you more than life itself, but it's time I love me and love is honest. Before I can be honest with anyone else, it starts with me. I hope you can hear my heart. I love you. That was deep, Penny. Thank you. Um, Ooh, Penny, how this you- why this why I'm be liking this first night, mom, because I be trying to look good. I be trying to cry and all that. You know what I'm saying? This 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 what? Oh, thank you so much, Henny, for being like so. Oh, do y'all understand what charm school is about? I'm hurt, but at the same time. I'm still learning how to let my let like, go. Like I can't really, you know, I I can't change that. And I think, you know, I I try to focus on, you know, tr- like trying to see the good in people. And at this, but at the same time, I gotta see the good in me. And if I like, I can't see that for them if I don't see the good in me. So. Well, Henny, I want to tell you that I personally love you. Um, that was very bold, and thank you. All right. Um, make sure your boxes are muted, you guys. Um, another question for anyone on the panel. Anyone would like just one person would like to address Henny at this time? Just one. If not, we'll move on. I will. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, I can only imagine how you feel right now. 
that's, that's, that was very, very deep. And it could get deeper. Uh, all I want you to know is, like, we all here, you know, that's what we're here for. We all here to guide one another, help one another, build up, build each other up. That's all I want to say. Thank you. All right. So um, thank you again, Henny. Bless you. Bless your spirit. All right, Larry. Hi. Hey. Okay. So I have a question. Do I read both of the letters? I'm sorry? Do I read both of the letters, the one I have from my mom and my dad? Absolutely, you can. Uh, here we go. So, dear dad, you probably weren't expecting a letter from me for the longest time. I didn't expect to write a letter to you either. You've messed me up a lot, and you've also messed up a lot of mess ups. I won't lie, all of those added up to a lot of hurt and confusion for me. But as much as I spent the last few years thinking that if I had the chance like this to tell you something, it would be to list out all your actions that affected me. And how I have the chance, it turns out this isn't what I want to say. I can use a lot of different words, but what it really comes down to is this. It is not too late. It isn't too late to own up to your actions and say, I'm sorry. It is too late for forgiveness. It isn't too late for you, for me. There's still hope. So today I'm opening up the door for big possibilities of you returning to my life and finding nothing but grace, love, and forgiveness because I really need you in my life to teach me everything that my mother could not teach me. Dad, I know what I know what the future holds for us, but I am confident that the God I serve, who began good work within you, will continue his work until it's finally finished. Dear Mom, I want to start off by saying thank you for all the times that you've been there for me through band rehearsals, driving me to school, along with being there for my first nose ring, taking care of me when I was sick, cooking and watching other movies with me. Sadly, those most of the memories are overshadowed by the poor life decisions and so far by your addiction to drugs. You damaged me in more ways than I think you'll ever understand or will ever be able to admit about it. When I was born, that I was told that I was born with drugs in my body and I was not supposed to live by the age of three. And all of those years of watching going in and out of rehab, always saying goodbye, never knowing when you come back home and having to wait to visit you. Having to miss Christmas with you is because it really messed me up, Mom, and I didn't know what to do. And I didn't know who to count on because my dad wasn't there. And the only people I can count is my sisters and my little brother. And I never really had the mother to teach me at first. And I also want to say that I'm very proud of you because seeing that you um, overcame the drug addiction and was able to be clean for so many years, that taught me a lot that I can do all things also. So I also want to say thank you for always being a big inspiration in my life. And I was also following your footsteps knowing that I can overcome everything because you also did. I love you, Mom. Um, um, Larry, is that your t television in the background? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Oh, okay. We love you. Thank you for being so emotional and so vulnerable, too. That was absolutely amazing. Um, I look at you completely different the same way I told any, like, I understand, I understand you guys on a totally different level. So thank you. Um, good job, Larry. And how are you feeling? Like, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm still, I'm feeling good. I was, I'm, I'm actually happy that I can um, overcome action. I'm going to throw it out to everybody. Because at first I couldn't, like, when I was reading to myself, I couldn't go through it. But now I'm happy that I was able to go through it. Did you think you found the strength once you wrote it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
And Larry, I won't lie. Time. That's why I asked you to turn down your TV because it was hard to connect with your letter with the with the music in the background and the television going on because everybody's muted. But um, I still was listening and I felt your pain and I understand you. But I won't lie. That TV was loud and distracting for me. My bad. It's all good. Anyone would like to say anything? Any one person would like to say anything to Larry? All right, we'll move on. All right, Cardi, thank you so much for coming tonight. And go ahead and read your letter and tell us to who, who, it's, well, what, who or what it's regarding. Yeah, I was still thinking about his. I'm so sorry. I forgot I was muted. I'm ready. Mm-mm. I'm going to my air conditioner. Turn it off. That's better. That's better.
grandma told me that you wasn't going to heaven and that I wouldn't be going there either. But I'm still I'm still able to learn and love regardless of all the hate that's given towards me. So I thank you, Grandma, for preparing me for the world's hate. You were the apple of my eye and the strongest woman I ever knew. I never knew that eventually you would push me aside and I would stop being your little helper and somehow just become a thing or whatever my sexual preference was. I appreciate you apologizing to me before you died. And I thank you for thinking I was strong enough to have everything, the house, even the pain of carrying our family and taking care of my mom. So um, I don't really know if it's a blessing or a curse, but I know that all of this is still making me stronger. Ooh, I'm almost done. My oh, God. And childhood, thank you the most for everything that was thrown at me, it turned me into the man that I am today. And I pride myself off of being nothing like the examples of love or the examples of hurt that I have received that I've become everything that this family was not. Taking care of myself, taking care of all the people who once denied me and being a matriarch because no one's here to play my grandma's role. So to myself, I thank you for still being here um, through it all. Um, Cartier, um, I have personally never seen you be that vulnerable on this app because you always hold up such a big ass wall. I've never seen you, um, cry. I've never, you have such thick skin, like to see that side of you tonight. It, um, it made me want to calm down. You're amazing. We love you and thank you. Um, Larry, what are you thinking about right now, Larry? Okay. I want to say, Cardi, if you need anything at all, you can give me a future software. I understand where you're coming from, and if you need anything from me. Um, Cardi, I'm going to just tell you right now, all the way from Brooklyn, I'm sending you a virtual hug, bro. Like, you got to hug your brother. Like, I, I, I can't physically hug you, but I can, you need a hug. You got to show them right here. Again, the same thing to the deck, sis, guys. Go outside the friend. They find, like, outside the closet. Everybody. Need somebody to talk to. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, we here. You really don't got to go through none of that. Bro. And if you ever feeling down, like I said, I'm going to out. Funny, right. how are you feeling right now, babe? Uh, whew, I'm feeling relieved that that's over with. And, um, I'm in the same place I was when I was writing it. It's, there's some things I just don't think about or it's not it's part of my character that I keep you know away is what made me strong like Rock said I usually don't allow these kind of things to even bother me so writing it I didn't know how much it bothered me until having to read it again Honey, thank you we're praying for you we're here for you okay all right, Pharaoh. Hold on, my bad. I'm trying to like, I'm over here like, hold on, I'm about to let me, I'm trying to come up the um, thing. Hold on, hold on, time I'm looking at my Okay. Um, I was just sitting here like reading my letter over and over again and like, <clears throat> I'm just seeing like, I'm really, I'm really like, like I really, <clears throat> I really wrote a, a letter to myself about my, about me being angry, and I just, I'm really angry. Like, I, like, I never really, like, um, I'm trying to, you know, read this, but it's like, I never really express my feelings like that. Like I'm not an emotional person. Y'all mute y'all really, box. Go ahead. I keep reading this letter over and over and over, and it's making me feel like, like, I just can't, I don't, I've never did this before. Can I go last? 
like I, I, I I'm trying to like form the way like I wrote a letter and it's like really but I just I've never expressed my feelings like this and it's like is every time I read it I, I feel like I'm angry I, I'm more I didn't know I was just angry and I don't know what I'm mad at like hold on your time okay Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna mute Shim. Oh. Yeah, can y'all? Oh, okay. Okay, so. I don't. Maybe I don't know what hurt me, so I don't know if I. I don't feel like I've ever been hurt, so personally, I wrote a letter to my anger. Cause I don't know why I'm so angry, but I'm an angry person. And come just read it. Um, so it goes, <clears throat> dear anger, you've been in my life for a while now. We have such a strong relationship where I don't know how to be without you. You are a perfect excuse to be nasty, abrasive, and disrespectful. It is as if I'm in a relation relationship with you, almost like you are my companion. I use you to constantly hit below the belt and say mean things to others. I can't control you when I want to. No one can control you, actually. And your magnitude can sometimes be overwhelming for me. Your strength knocks me out whenever it wants to, and it's always out of nowhere. I can feel when you're coming, and I let you just show up and show out and run rampant in my life. I encounter you almost daily. Some, do, some, some days I lay in the bed with my phone on Do Not Disturb and not answer the phone so I don't have to see you because I know somebody is going to irritate me and force me to be rude and disrespectful and that's not really what I want to do every day. I don't know why I'm so angry, but without you, I don't know how I would react in certain predicaments or how I could progressively get out of certain situations. You've allowed me to be me even in the midst of me potentially causing pain to others. I would love to know what lesson you were given to, to teach me so that I can learn it and depart ways from you. I no longer want to use you as a weapon, but leave you in the, my past and change my present and redetermine my future because the things that I say and do are, are not nice <clears throat> and they're very disrespectful. I don't want people to view me that way. So to you, Anger, I would like to say I would like to depart my ways, move on, <clears throat> and change. Um, I don't want to say that you are the most vulnerable. I've never seen you this vulnerable, neither. That was so big. That was so open. That was so honest. I personally deal with anger issues as well. And you're helping so many people by telling your own story and writing a letter to yourself. And we love you for that. And thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm almost mad that you were you wanted to like not go when you went like what were you going to do were you going to like tell another try to rewrite it and butter it up like we needed to hear that like that's what we needed to hear thank you so what an anger is told to somebody it's keeping all that anger bottled up ain't is not healthy uh like i know like i know as leos we feel like we don't even got to talk to nobody go to anger management bro Go talk to somebody because when I tell you I used to have the same problem, I used to be worse than how I am now. Go that, go talk to somebody. They ain't gonna do nothing but try to help you. And what's the worst that can happen? Carol, I really did not expect that angry. from you. I'm touched tonight. I did not expect that at all. Jesus Christ, like you blew me out of the box with that one. All right, Pharaoh. Your letter was extremely deep, and it was a great approach um, mm -hmm. on on inner self and being able to express that so articulately uh, uh, through words. It was really, really beautiful. And how are you feeling about that? Well, I like that y'all giving me positive feedback because I felt like it was going to be, you know, bad. But 
Um, now I feel better because y'all gave me like a lot of positive stuff. Like I never like you know got sentimental and wrote a letter and did stuff like this. But um, thank you for like receiving my feelings and emotions. We appreciate you for sharing them. All right, Shim Cool Kid, let me take you off mute. So let me remind everybody, the judges in the comments are watching. They're watching for a lot of different things. Your energy, they're watching for everything because they're just a mess down there. But remember, they control a, a big percent of the vote. Okay. Ma, not they're just a mess down there. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't miss, they don't miss a beat. It was that part for me. It was, it was just a mess hey, down there. Because they watch every day. They're, they're, they just on it. That's what my, I mean. You know, my, it, was a sen- it was a sentimental, y'all, thank y'all for being so honest, so vulnerable. We love y'all. But in the comments, they're just a mess down there. Listen, <laughs> they control a large percent of the vote and they want you to give them good energy because they're a mess down there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jackie, I hate Digo. They're using their microscopes. They're using their mic. They're looking. When y'all talking, I'm going to tell you what they're doing. They double tapping your box. They're looking at you, your clothes, your shit. They're looking. <laughs> They are looking. So that's what I'm well, saying. Well, I know it's Love. not me that's... I know it's not me that they got the... They're all smacking um, and stuff. So who's well, who's, who's not muted? Somebody order, me, somebody order me some food. Please. I don't care what it is. I'm starving. I'm hungry, too. I have not eaten all day. My God. I've been so busy. But I also hear... I hear a robot behind everything I say. Is it me? Or what's going on, y'all? It's not me. I'm muted. I'm, what is that sound? I think it just revving. Let me see. I think it's me. Let me see. M- mute seven, Ma. And see, is it seven? And it's his turn, too. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. Well, it was seven. Seven, you got to lean with it, rock with it, get some iPods with it, get some AirPods with it, lean with it, rock with it. Fuck is going on? Damn. Okay, this is a very emotional night tonight for a lot of the gentlemen. So, you know. Come on, my. You gotta lean with it, rock with it, get some ear pods with it. Or we're gonna have to. Oh my God. Shim, lift up your phone. Pick up your phone and let's see. Hell no. Hell no. I think he probably just got a call. That's why. So I just think it just messed up. Okay. Let's see if you okay, drop well, down and come back. Drop down and come back. Drop down. Real quick. And yeah, and leave, yeah, and then come right back. Ain't he from Turks and Caicos or something like that? To me, it sounded like he out there visiting or something. What the fuck? Okay, we're gonna pay it. No one Bam. laughs, please. It's, it's, it's box one is a mess. I'm sorry, like y'all. y'all in but. Come on, y'all. Let's be fair. I'm only hey, saying what y'all. Say hi, Shim, so I can grab you. Um, let's say, uh, let me grab Shim, y'all. Brock, tonight is it's a very it's very nerve wracking for a lot of the gentlemen tonight, Brock. So it's very okay, nerve wracking. I'm, I'm being okay, but my it was yeah. just the connection and the Wi-Fi. That's all. I jumped in everybody oh, else's mug. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I know. All right. Okay, I'm being let's fair. Let's go. You ready, Shim? I'm hungry. Jim, I can't hear you. Okay, yeah, get to the phone, babe, so we can hear you. Do you have Do you have any earphones at all? Like any type of earphones? Uh, I'm a kick boss lady so hard at this room. <laughs> well, <laughs> we know who's out. <laughs> I'm a pig. I'm a pig. I'm a pig. Was he playing on the speaker? That's what it sounded like he was muffing.
Oh, what the hell? ...of an emotional moment you know, with all of our children. What is going on with you tonight, mother? Because I was perfect, but I had to try to bring Shem up and I hit the button and my nails are... Oh, my God. Are you at home? Are you in the hood? What is going on? Did you pay I'm your Wi-Fi even... bill? What's I going did. on tonight, mother? Oh, Lord. Huh? Mother, this is charm school for our next Prince Charming. And you cut it off in the middle of a speech? Mother, shame on you tonight, mother. I'm disappointed. I'm turning my back. I'm turning my back. I can't even look at you right now. You disappointed me. <laughs> you disappointed me. How are we gonna how are we gonna teach the boys? All right. If they can't the learn. Thing is not working. Okay, what box are you in, um Regan? What box? Oh Shim. What box are you in, Regan? They put this button too close to the exit. It's just too close. Look, I will I'm, I'm say the button now. is very close. Yeah, Almost so as close, close as you were to not ending the live in the middle of one of our charm school students. I am absolutely flabbergasted. This, this is so uncouth of you, Mother, tonight. I must let you know. What about Sneaky in, y'all? Y'all tell me what the comments are saying. What's Sneaky, number eight? I think Sneaky, number 10. Number 10 for Sneaky. And then number eight for Millie. Me, they're telling me not yeah. too much. I'm only... The, I, I, I already got sir. keep room. I have keep room. That's the sad part. My room is on keep room. My room is on keep room. It's always on keep room. And it still disappeared. What number is reeking? Can y'all tell me what the comments say? What is reeking? I know well, everybody's is back here. It's already 500 of you guys. Share the live, y'all. If you were here for Charm School, jump in the cloud, jump in the um queue. Let's bring all of our peoples back up. Let's get school back. No. So reeking is next four. to. I was in four. Okay, reeking. Re you was in four? Okay. Yeah, you was in four. All right, drop down. Rika was in nine. Yachty was in eight. Trey was in 11. No, you're confusing me. Just stop. I got to get one name at a time. So Cartier is in five. Cartier is in five. Man. Oh, and I own up to your mistakes. I keep the distance, but never the fate. Mama always told me that you go grow up around a lot of snakes. It's up to you to determine from real. Or the fate. Um, Dad, you really disappointed me when you wasn't man enough to tell me that uh, you wasn't trying to be there for me when I got shot one inch away from my heart. That really disappointed me when you told me you wasn't there. When you told me you was going to be there and you wasn't there for me when I got out of jail. And it's sad to me. It's really, really sad. And uh, every day, each day, day, I'm mourning because I, I really miss my uncle. So, dear uncle, I hate that you're gone. Like, you're not right here with me. You ain't by my side because you was by my side every day. You was the only one that I could call on when it was time to call on. Even though I was being hard-headed, even though I was entertaining the streets, I started trying to be worse than the devil, not knowing that I'm worse than the devil, you know, throwing up my blood, say, you know, throwing up the crib. But I got a little, I got a little scripture for y'all, and it go like Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He make me lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. So with that being said, I, I just, I'm speechless right now, y'all. Give me a speech right now, just. 
that's all that's all I got to say. Thank you, Miliana. You did Thank well. you, Miliana. You did extremely well as you have done since your um audition to make it into charm school charm school to today. You have done nothing but surprise us. And we love you for that. Thank you so much. Anyone didn't have anything to say to Miliati? Um, I just want to say I I feel for you because like you almost died, and that's a big um. I'm just happy that you're here. That's all I can say. Because getting shot like an inch away from your heart is not. That's crazy. I never dealt with nothing like that, but I'm praying for you. And that's a fact. Sure. Um, yeah, I like. I don't really know how to, you know, take like. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like I've been like the people that spoke on not having any pop because I have my pop. I have a good relationship with him. But you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if I would be the man that I am today if it wasn't for him. So you know what I'm saying? I definitely feel for the like for everybody that don't like that don't have that father figure. Like it's gonna be okay though. Bro. Appreciate it. Okay, that's all I got. Thank you. Millie, that was deep and profound. Thank you for sharing your emotions with us. We appreciate you. All right, number nine, Rican, please share your letter with us. Okay. Hey, Dad, you hurt me when you used to call me a fag. Two, you want to be a girl. To saying, what the fuck are you wearing? I had to tell you I was bi when I knew I was fully gay. You were there, but not here. I knew you had to work to take care of us, so I understand it took some years for you, for it to click that I'm still your son I, and that I was a great fit. But I'm just writing this letter to thank you because you made me the strong gay man that I am today. Because if I didn't care what you think, why would I care what the world thought? P.S. I love you forever, Dad. Wow. To love someone who shown you nothing but hate. I mean, you have to be an extremely strong individual for something like that, um, which is something I can identify with. And Rekin, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Rekin. That was deep and honest. I appreciate you. Thank you. How are you feeling, babe? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, you know. I kept it short and simple, you know. I didn't get into detail, you know, because I still love my dad. There was more to that I could have probably got into that letter, but I just wanted to keep it, you know, simple and to the point, you know, because... I still have my connection with my dad, you know, even throughout these years, it took all this time, me being married for seven years to a man, you know, my dad finally came around after all these years. So that's why I said, I love you forever, dad. Also for anyone that's looking at my title, my title says Prince Charm School from where I'm looking at. If your title's still not updated, you need to leave my room and come back or whatever because so, my title is updated. Thank you. It says Prince Charm School. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, Sneaky, you're up. Share your share your letter. Okay. Oh, boy. This one is from my dad. I don't even know. Mm, I'm not going to say much. Here you go. Dear dad, if I should even acknowledge you as such, 
I'm writing this letter to you because I don't believe you actually know how much you damaged me as a kid. Having to look at other acting fathers in their kid life or how I would fantasize about having a whole family with both involved. You probably thought I wasn't going to remember that, weren't you? You weren't there. I mean, we can't blame you, right? How would you know that at 12, 13 years old, I'd be waking up in tears wondering where you are? Or what about wondering, or what about being there when I thought that, or when, when, when I thought, okay, hold on, let me breathe, because it's a lot. Uh, or what about being there when I would get into fights at school? Lucky for me, even though you weren't there to give me the birds and the bees talk, I still had your grandson at 25. You never tried to be around for me. You moved away with another female to a different state instead of taking care of your responsibility to me. My mother didn't want you, that's fine, but you could have did right by me. The only way that you helped me, and I know it wasn't your intentions, was by showing me what not to be as a parent. Sometimes I wonder if it's worth it letting my son know about you because you might harm him as well as me as as well as me. Sometimes I wonder why I gave you like why sometimes I wonder why you gave your other kids attention and not me. I mean if you're going to be a deadbeat, don't half ass. Be one all the way through. Growing up without you was hard teaching growing up without you, it was hard teaching myself what you were supposed to. It was even harder, but you didn't think about nor try to reach out at all. All I did at all, I was the one who had to find you through social media and still can't get you to even communicate because you always got and continue to get locked up knowing that your time is diminishing every day on this earth. And you still chose to not have a relationship with me. I never chose to be here. Just know you didn't do right by me. Wow. Oh, wow, Sneaky. Um, Sneaky. I always thought that you were an asshole until tonight. Like, you do have a soft side. You are um, genuinely loving, sweet. You've been through a lot. And thank you so much for opening up your heart and showing us a soft side of you. Because I feel like you naturally have such a big wall up. You protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, as I do as well. So I connect with you being a principal. I love you. Thank you so much. Black man with the hot Cheetos and his raids <laughs> that I always say. But I definitely love you and thank you so much. Like that was that was heartfelt. Thank you. I appreciate you, Sneaky. That was really deep. Your perspective on your daddy. Like your dad, like a dad is supposed to be there to support their son and, and, and raise you and show you how to be a man. That was real deep. Like, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So interesting. Did you, did you guys know that this is so interesting? On the girls' show, a lot of the girls had issues with their mothers. And on the, on this show, a lot of you guys have issues with your fathers and mom. Okay. Now, as for you, Fred, we definitely would like you just to take us down a little bit. Just talk to us a minute or two about um, just things that just have a conversation with me, Fred. And not necessarily or per se, what are you hiding, but what are you feeling? I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm alone type shit. Like, uh, you know, I can't, I can't like keep trying to depend on nobody else. I got to, I'm trying to make a way for myself. I've been departed from my home years ago, but I had, I had end up, I end up leaving. 
the state where we stayed. And, and I came back and I went to go to school. But when I came back, I wasn't, I was trying to get a regular job, sort of, kind of. And, and she, and when I, as soon as I got a job, my mom had other kids. I got an older sister, an older brother, and a younger brother that's able to work. And another younger brother that's didn't, he just in high school. And it, so when I came back, we in a two bedroom apartment with six people. Everybody had somewhere to sleep but me. Like, I'm, I'm sleeping on a hardwood floor or in her bed, hoping when she come out, when she get off work, she don't tell me to get the fuck out of her bed. And with my dad, he was only getting me on the weekends. So with him trying to, I guess, show me that there's something different. Well, this way he always said that there's a different way of living. But me being over there the whole time, it, that's, not, that's not helping with, with like, the way I'm feeling over there at all. So me and my mama end up kicking me at her house. I tried to, when that happened, she, oh my God, when that happened, I, I didn't have anything. And she wanted me to, she wanted me necessarily to pay her rent up in the apartment, but it wasn't on everybody else and they, to pay their rent. So the first time we supposed to pay rent, I paid her the double the amount that we supposed to pay, which I didn't know because I was like, the total she was saying, I thought it equaled up to something, but she didn't tell me until after the next week when I had to give her another payment. So one week I decided not to pay her because I was like, I'm not gonna keep paying you and everybody else not paying you the same amount of money I'm gonna pay you. And she felt like as if I was disrespecting her. So my dad, so my dad let me move in with him. Um, I started working, and I end up getting I end up getting fired from a, multiple jobs. It was because of my civil device and because I like being on the internet. And that, I guess to that, to him, that irritates him. But this is like right after I got, I got kicked out of my mom's house, went to my auntie's house, she kicked me out, went to my grandma, her husband didn't want me there. So that's when I, I ended up back with my dad. So that's when he tell me, if, if I don't listen to what exactly he want me to do and, and what I can't do for myself, what I want to do, um, I'm gonna have to get out his house type shit. So, it, I'm, I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm 20. I don't know. Okay. Ma? He, he might not have understood, though, Brock, either. He was probably deflecting, bro. Probably, like, it's hard to tap into those type of things with people that you don't really know like that. So that's yeah. probably what it is. He, he really didn't know us like that. But now I guess he's warming up to us because we getting into it and we actually, you know, sharing our feelings, so... I think that's probably what it is that's making him even comfortable enough to even speak his piece. I know exactly what it was. I just wanted you guys to realize it and him and you guys as his brothers that's up here to see it as well. Right. That's all. 
that's hard to be going through at, at a young age, bro. Like that, I don't, I feel for you. I don't sympathize with nobody because I don't feel like nobody needs sympathy and you definitely don't need that, bro. Only thing you need is motivation, bro, so that you can get on your feet and get on your shit. And you already got that incentive in your head because at the end of the day, you working. It's not like you sitting over here laying on your ass asking for somebody to hand something to you. You actually getting out there and getting it on your own. So I still commend you for being strong, bro. It takes a lot. Fred, I just want to let you know at your age, you are a leader. Your motivation. You're amazing. You're touching people's hearts. And you hit home more than a lot of people do. So thank you tonight for being so open and so vulnerable with us. And we love you. Ma? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fred. I'm kind of just blown away with Fred, honestly. Because when you listen to his story, every single person in his life turned their back on him. Mm -hmm. And he expressed that he was lost. I appreciate you, Fred. So, yeah, thank you. So, so you guys know, um, you know, during this um, ordeal, I do make time to at least listen to each and every one of you. And at times, if you, if, if I find somebody to be struggling, you know, I do ask the ladies that hang out in my room to help me help that person, whether it's gas or they're hungry or they need something. So, you know, sometimes I, I reach out and my ladies, they season y'all purse. So, you know, don't be afraid to say you're hungry or if you need something. You know, we, me and my little group, we, we, we help. You know, we're not the best over here, but we, this is what we do over here. Mommy, I'll so, say something. Know. Mm -hmm. Fred, we love you. We support you. I embrace you. I think you um, are amazing as every man up here. It's just hard because when we, you guys have been through so much in your past that moving forward, when we do come through and support, when, when y'all turn y'all back and y'all stab us, because that's only what you guys are prone to, it becomes difficult. Huh? That'd be all. That'd be all. I'm just saying from from our circle, you know what I'm saying? It, it'd be hard. Hold on, At times. You, I'm not I'm no, I'm not talking about Fred. I'm saying when we support because guess our what? Community, I'm support Fred. The community. Yes, right. Community. The community. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because I'm gonna support Fred and I'm gonna love on Fred. But it's 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 just like myself, just like every man up here, it's survival of the fittest sometimes. So it's like when we we, when we hear your story and we come through and we support and we love, you know, sometimes it's just um, we've been, we've been, you know what I'm saying? Because I know everybody has turned their back on you so much, Fred. We won't up here and we're loyal to the soil and it's royalty over loyalty over here. Like we will. Absolutely. But, but, but another thing, Fred, so this will be something different for you. you. You have a place to come week after week if you're not voted off and you get to communicate and be creative and have conversation civilized conversation with a group so all I, I do know you're broken and we can't fix you overnight we can't even fix you in a couple of weeks but we can give you food for thought there are people that are willing to listen and there are people that care Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind. And the only reason you're doing these exercises is not to get in your business, but to open your mind to sensitivity, to open your mind to things you've probably suppressed, to open your mind to communication. Because a lot of you have never told your father or your mothers these things that you're telling us. A lot of you haven't stood toe to toe with your dad or your mom, whether they're living or gone, and said, this is what you did to me. You hurt me. And now these letters reflect this. You have an opportunity now. You can actually seal these letters up if you want to and mail them off to the person that you want to read them. 
Absolutely. So we are I not against you, you We love you. Right. Get a sense of comfort when you're here because this is not a judgment zone. All right. So I appreciate you all. All right. Oh my God, Ma. Tonight, sheesh, to see so many beautiful black men opening up and sharing their stories like this was absolutely amazing. I absolutely love you guys. Jesus Christ. But comments, someone definitely has to go tonight. If it was one that has to go, can we just get a future head? I just want to see. Ma, are you going to make a poll? On top of the polls, I've already made tonight. Oh. If one person had to go tonight, who got to go? There's no audience in seven. No, they're talking Sham. about Sham. They're talking about Sham. Got to go. Well, at least Sham came. What about Quarter Boy? At least he didn't show up. At least Sham came. What about Quarter Boy? <laughs> Okay, mom. Well, next time for next week, you guys, seven, two people already eliminated themselves. We need one more person to go that's up here. So next week we will have a nine panel. So that was easy for y'all. Who else must go out of the seven left? Uh, eight left. Eight left. Eight or left. Nine. It was not nine. Oh my God. Four. Okay. Well, let's ask a question then. Do you guys want. No, 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 Ma. Can we do what we always do? Let's be fair. Um, Henny, if one person had to go, who's, who's got to go tonight that's up here? To be honest, um, after like hearing all these, hearing everybody speak, I think everybody need another chance next week. I'm not gonna hold you. Like I don't really see nobody going off for real, for real because I feel like I kind of, I kind of got closer to my brothers if I can say that comfortably now. Like you know, what I'm saying I got, I got closer to these niggas, so I don't really see nobody going home tonight for real, for real. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, um, Larry. Who had to go for you tonight? Um, to be honest, I can't even decide for it because there's a lot to be going on. I didn't know everybody was going through what they was going through, so I can't really decide anything right now. Everybody should just, everybody should um, just no, no, I'm sorry, Cartier. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cartier, if one person had to go, who would it be? Hold on, wait. I'm starting over. No, 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 no. The principal is starting answer. over. Hold on, hold on. This is a competition. I understand we love each other. We're understanding each other. Yes. Need, I'm going back to Henny. Henny, one person got to go. Be fair. This is a competition. There's dragons at the end. It's trophies. Be fair. I love the love, but uh-uh. One person got to go. Are comments, here, who gotta go? Though, comments, judges, do you feel... Somebody has to we go. We gotta go. Somebody gotta go. Yes or no comments. Do you feel somebody should go? It's not comments. Comments. Y'all gonna keep everybody regardless. Y'all vote everybody. I think you mom. should just I'm do a poll. I'm not listening to the comments. Do a poll. Well, we already lost the comments so all... are not fair. <laughs> No, so no, no, nobody no. gotta go. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Right. It should it should be a nine panel. I think I agree with Brock. He said it should be a nine oh, panel yeah. next week. Next week it should be a nine panel. Oh no, because no. initially we wasn't gonna cut three people. No. No, no. Well, no. two people no. two people voluntarily dropped, which was easier for us. Yeah. Okay. Nobody even got the opportunity to be voted. So that's it. Two people are gone. So get it together next week and we'll have our nine panel. Hmm. All right, maybe we should do a poll. You love polls. Um, maybe we should leave it like it is until next week. <laughs> <laughs> My, you always want to save everybody. You want to have 12 people every week. We got to chop this down. Come on. We, we have. To we have. To, if Corner Boy was here and Shinwit was here, 
we would have been only uh, expelling one gentleman. We got the opportunity for two of them to be gone. No, we would be doing two the first week, I thought. Didn't we talk about that? Two no, the first week? On the, if you be fair, the girls, we didn't cut nobody on the first um, on, on the um, letter show. No one went home. Everybody was in tears. Okay, well, my and we learned from that, and it, it dragged over. We got to move on. We did on. not, this because we lost two girls the next show. We lost three girls the next show. We lost Green, Bad Girls, and Queen Vic. I just feel like one of these hoes got to get voted off. But well, if y'all want to keep them... Three and seven, yeah. I don't want to keep them. If y'all want to keep them, fine. Somebody got to go eventually. Jesus, we love uh, y'all, but somebody gotta go. I've spoken. Well, we know who you know, was going Brock home. Wanna, Brock, let me tell y'all something about Brock. Brock <laughs> wants to tear y'all down. He'll lift you up, but he wants to tear you down and put you in the comments. So y'all gotta bring y'all A game. But Here why? Said, Thank you, Mommy. No, but when does you anybody does anybody up here vote with me? Does somebody need to go? Because two people eliminated themselves. One uh, other person needs to is, go. I, per, I personally okay. feel like somebody got to go. I somebody personally feel like go. two people have. Okay, so should I just should I decide decide who? Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You gonna send me home? I, listen. Yeah, I, feel like, I feel like somebody got to somebody get the fuck on up out of here. <laughs> we did. Hold on. I'm going to nominate. We're talking loud I'm like that. I'm going to nominate. I'm going to nominate two boxes and you guys vote since, since, since they want to be like that because this is a very emotional night. You can see that all of you guys need help. You guys need more conversation and connection. Why are you trying to send another brother home? Like, why? Okay, my, you got mother, can I speak? Oh, because some people okay, didn't. So no. Some people wasn't as vulnerable as the others. And we appreciate that. And they got their fans and they got their followers. We, Hold on, Pharaoh. We, Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Pharaoh, it's a competition about who's the most vulnerable, who gave the most. When, she, when y'all ask the question, if you say who gave the most, I vote number eleven did. If you okay, okay, mine, that's, that's, mine, that's it's not, but he don't got his that's uniform that's on. But, but hold on, hold on, hold on. What? It don't matter. But it's number candy. nine, hold on, number nine. But when they ask the question, on the, who, the competition who's is who's everybody out. Everybody said number nine. Give us two fine. numbers that's out. That's fine. Two numbers that's out, but y'all. I wrote about. I I I I understood my assignment. I got dressed. I came to charm school because I need it. And I want to be here and go to the top, you know, because I have more to my story that you guys don't even know yet. Okay, well, you said two numbers. They're putting nine and eleven. So go make a poll. Because you, because you just said you just had a story. His, he just told his whole life. Every nobody, he's not nobody like like his whole family fucking kicked him out. So you can't say your story better than his. Oh, they're saying nine and eleven. Yeah, so fine. let's make a poll. Nine and eleven. Huh? That the comments are saying the comments are saying me. But like I've had like she I slept said, in she, I slept in my she car. Said for the comments to like, pick I've two done people. it all. Okay, so I've now you slept homeless. in your car. They haven't no, I didn't say I don't we were talking about the person who heard us. I have a story. I got stories for days that I've been through. It's only everybody. It's only the but my whole thing is show. my whole thing is about it. You write about anger. anger. I have You're everybody has anger. Girl, you were you can't you can't anger. come for people's story. Okay, so Sir Brock, you can't. Nobody's story is more important than the next person's story. You cannot be mad at the comments because exactly. everybody. Right. You exactly. can't say that <laughs> when when they ask the so, question. Okay, okay. Be fair. If we had to put three numbers, you guys, on a poll for you guys to vote to go home, what three numbers? What three See, numbers? That's, that's six, fine. six and nine, nine, eleven. Nine, you nine. Now, now I'm in the poll because I want to defend somebody. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. The less is best. Defend. You guys got to fall back. The comments are, these women are so interesting. I'm it's telling not, you. Any, like you got to fall back. That sometimes charm school is about communication, right? If somebody's giving you too much energy, we have the choice to say, mm-hmm. I keep explaining to you guys, the ladies in this room are interesting. They want to see you growing, even on night one. That's what they want. When they see the combativeness, they will put you up. They're just like that. That's just who they are. I keep trying to warn y'all. 
They can like you five minutes ago and will turn on you as soon as you start going back and forth. Stay calm. Now, I'm trying yeah, to but, save y'all and tell but, y'all no one gets... Co- I've tried to save you guys, Farrah. I can tell you right now. Don't. Come for Empress. No, I'm not coming for you. I'm not coming Don't for you. Don't even save yourself and just be handsome. Stop. Well, can I say I, one I, thing? I, because I'm I telling you, like these com- they're going to turn to all sixes. It's going to turn to all sixes. Please, handsome. I'm telling you. I promise you, handsome. I'm trying to save y'all to say, leave it alone. Don't cut nobody. Well, let them I, vote me off because guess what? I feel like one person has to go. It's, it has not been fair. <laughs> Two people personally eliminated oh. themselves. I would love to come up next week on a nine panel, not on a big panel like this. I want a nine panel next week and we have to get people out. Like, this is a competition right. at the end of the day. Yeah, we lost two. There's a lot of um, reality shows that once you, um, if we eliminate people or they voluntarily leave, we can just go ahead and say there's no eliminations this week. I like what's happening here. These gentlemen are opening up. It's only fair to give them another week. You don't let someone... Okay, mom, well, be fair. Home. Okay, mom, be fair. Where there's going to be another week where two people are voted off. Because it's no going to push them out. The balance would have been one person tonight anyway. We would have only eliminated one person. On the girls show, we didn't eliminate anybody. We did not uh, eliminate We only eliminate got anyone. four weeks of our show until we do a big... I mean, We are the bosses. Right? We're the bosses of this show. We can do what we want. We're going to extend it out another week. The girls and the boys We don't know, but up. we run it. And guess what? We hustle. We're hard content hosts. We're going to push it out. I ain't complaining. I got to travel to Missouri tomorrow and do this. I am not okay. complaining. Okay. All right. Y'all pushing it out because another week. This is the thing. I want them to know. Listen, I want y'all to understand. But somebody will leave next week, if not two. But I Sales want you guys to It's forget- our show. I want you. Can I just say this. one thing? Go when ahead. You get done, I'm, a, I'm a sad thing. No, like I'm I didn't like how ahead. he. J- okay, I didn't like how you said I wrote a, a um a essay a, um letter about anger. So so basically, this is going back to the first week. So what I'm going through and my issues and my problems is not important as the next person because I haven't went through what you went through. Because he just tried to read me and say, "Oh, you wrote a letter about anger." I but I'm the thing angry. is, I did not. I'm angry. I did I'm not. An angry person. Let me you, finish. You were stuffing in my box, and I'm trying no, I to, didn't. you know, but I'm I trying got to up be here, here and I show my vulnerability. You. I would not. I don't want to argue. Just, I want to talk. I never said your your yours is deeper than mine. Mine is deeper than yours. Six is deeper than the next person's. I never said that. I came here to be vulnerable. I have I have stories that I slept from car to car. I slept from car to car. There was we a week. I didn't eat. Okay? I have a story too. I went by my assignment. If you really want to be fair. Okay? I understood the assignment. And if I if I didn't have money to get a shirt, I would have hustled to go get my shirt just to be here to show you guys that I do have a story and I deserve to stay. I just feel like you're like like I understand you have a story and everything, but you don't have to okay. throw shade. Okay, okay, hold on, y'all. The principal, your story. I'm not principal throwing speak. shade at nobody here. You just threw shade at him not for not having a shirt, and then when I that's, not, second, what I, that's, that's not what I got. I'm now. telling you what I. I'm, what I, what I, I'm being Feral. real. Feral Rick and be fair. I love y'all. I'm gonna just say, oh shit. That I think, okay, Ma, I'm with you. Nobody should go home this week because everybody was so yeah. vulnerable, so loving. Next well, week, two of you hoes got to yeah. go. Nah, but we'll, okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We, we, yeah. Next week, two hoes yeah, got to go. Everybody's safe. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just trying to save y'all so we can get more communication. Somebody want to call in on y'all. Go ahead and call in. Now you got the ladies calling in on y'all. They want to go ahead and call in. <laughs> they want to call. Y'all got the number? Come on, y'all. Y'all know we're running two shows. Prince Charming and Charm School. This is Boston. Um, when you all stated that someone needed to leave, um, no, when you like, no one needs to leave. And we was like, yes, they do. He was like, um, no one needs to leave. We started saying nah. And I was like, um, I don't need to leave. My story, I've been... 
this, I seen that. Like his story was so much better than the other guys. I like that. I think he needs. He 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 gave off. Oh, I've been in the car. I've been this. I've been that. But that's what Pharaoh is thinking on. I think you had it. Um, he thinks his story is better than everyone else's, and that's not fair. Thank you, caller, for calling. I love you. I never said. All right, caller. What's your oh, call back? Okay, let me explain something about charm school. You have to learn how to just take it. Or you will have to go. These ladies going to get rid of y'all because you don't, your emotions flare up. You cannot let life, let emotions lead your life. You cannot let emotions lead your life. Sometimes you have to know how to swallow it. Okay. Because the more you talk, I'm pinning you this, pinning you that. Listen, it'd it be a witch hunt on this app. Y'all know that. You see how yeah, they no, play addressing my box. But let it Addressing go. Never nine. Like, never nine. This is the time to just listen, beautiful. Stop. I'm explaining to you now. It's just a time to listen. And there you go. I'm telling y'all. Hello. Thank you for calling Charm School. Hi, Ann. How are you? I'm wonderful, my love. That's awesome. Only thing we we wasn't seeing in mind that you said your story uh, was worse than or better than someone else's. We were just saying you were you insinuated it. You almost said it like I've been through this, I've been through that, but they've been through something as well. And like six was saying, nobody's story is is sadder or you know I don't know what words you use or worse than the next person's story because everybody goes through something, but it's just on a different level and it's yeah. just a different aspect of things. So, you know, with you saying, you know, trying to make us feel sad or my story is not not worse, but I've been through this, I've been through that. That makes us say, well, you know, you gotta go because you have no work for nobody else. I hear you. Thank you, caller. I love I you. I just want to intervene and say everybody up here on the panel has been through something. We all have cried, you guys. But at the right, end of the day, this is story, a competition. Give me, give me this top three stories so we can poll and see who had the best story. Who had the best it's story of the night? It's a competition, guys. Who had the best story Let's of the be night? Fair. Who had the best story? I had the best story. One. Period. <laughs> I'm number one, but number two is number two, y'all. <laughs> I'm number right, one, so but Henny's number two. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just call it and say it was number 11 based on the comments, the judges in the comments. And um, so, yeah, I will. And for that, it'll be great to give like little competition gifts when someone do win. So we got to reward people when they do do We'll give, we'll give number 11 a shield for doing exceptional. He won tonight's challenge. Thank you. That put a smile on his did. face. So that y'all give him a hand. Y'all brothers give him a hand. That Absolutely. put a smile on his face. It's Yay. just the way. Come on, comment. Come on, comments. Be, do your job, y'all. He was fair. <sighs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I say something, please? Go ahead. I just want to say that, like, I did not mean no harm by what I just said, but Pharaoh kept, like, picking at me, picking at me, and I don't get vulnerable, especially in front of so many people. So I'm here. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I love it. it. Okay, beautiful. <sighs> And let's let's live. We all we all survive another week, okay? So, mom, we gonna keep everybody this. till next week. If you guys start picking on each other, listen, ladies. If you see somebody not being fair, if you see somebody doing a dirty game, I'm just gonna keep it real. We gotta get them out of here because charm school is not about picking and poking. We gotta get it together. Like at some point, whatever is triggering you guys to be different or emotional, I need y'all to start working on I need y'all to think about what's really happening here. I don't want nobody picking. I don't want it. I don't want it. We're too adult. That's not what we're trying to do here. And mother, as the principal of school, somebody is to be expelled. I know, that but I want to say Someone I Somebody really got something to say. Y'all, yeah, the understand. calls are closed. Someone yes, must be calls expelled. are closed, y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead, caller. Wait, it's calls or not? 
Well, you you here now? Go ahead, babe. Okay. Um, what's his name? Um, because you're doing way too much. Like you talk to the victim now, and like just mute yourself because like we don't want to hear it. Just come back harder next week. Number eleven, number eight, they are killing the game. Thank you, beautiful. All right, that's enough for the call, y'all. I love y'all, all my judges. All right, so no one is getting expelled. Number 11 won the challenge. Everyone got something to say. Listen, callers, then I say the lines is closed. Hello, welcome to Charm School. Hi, I'm not too much here. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, be nice, no. No, we need a yeah, man. Yeah. Night. No, I'm just fixing too dark. He in a dark spot, and he's like on the show, and then next week, nine gotta go. Love you, Carla. Thank you. I tried to tell her. I tried to tell her, you guys. Um, the principal. I tried to expel someone. <laughs> y'all got listen. They kind. Y'all think y'all slick? Stop calling this phone. Phone school. I'm not gonna stop calling. I need to fix my mind. So. I feel like every <laughs> I feel like every conversation with number six turns into an argument. I don't like it. I also feel like number nine is playing the victim. I also don't like that. And I also feel like number eleven shouldn't have won the challenge. She wasn't even in one. That's it. She don't like nothing. Uh, she, she don't like, like nothing. So, okay, so like I tell y'all what. So I'm gonna it. have <laughs> so y'all, y'all stop. Listen, charm school. The hotline is if I. I was just about to answer it. Y'all give me a break. The hotline over. They can't wait to touch y'all. Ma, you don't, you don't want to hear nobody's opinion tonight. What's I going mean, on? I hear, I, well, this is what I'm trying to tell these guys. These women are trying to cut y'all off. Stop it. Listen to the ladies. That's what I'm saying. Y'all fall back. These ladies don't play over here. They don't play Ma, their you, show. You want to say every... This ain't Captain Sabo. A whole I, I mean, I'm at the end of the, for y'all. Okay, so, so Bronx, if that's what you want to do, like... If you want to do a poll, it's going to have to be me and number six. But she wants to save us. So, like, let's three, do it. It was three people. Over. Go ahead. Call me back, my T sip. I saw you. Listen, it wasn't I, just y'all are saved six. tonight. It was three. All I'm telling no, I'm saying y'all is. Me, I mean, it's me and number nine. My bad. It's going to be me and number nine. Because that's, cause, Sarah, because that's not, you that's guys not the only are people saved. I saw. Relax. What are you doing? I'm, no, he's no. I'm just saying he wants to do a poll. I'm not trying to like. But you okay. are no. But they saying. For, I'm gonna calm down. Go ahead, Ma. Thank it's you on for you. Calling. Okay, and so I don't think nobody's testimony was better than the others. It was nice to see all of the men be vulnerable and tell their stories. All of their stories were very different, and they all were vulnerable. But I do think that number 11 deserved it. And that's only because we see him always playful, not really paying attention. And it was just nice to see him. And and we all felt, and it's funny how we all felt the same way. Yeah, and that's literally the only reason why I think he should have won. Because I think all the men did. I think they all did beautiful. I, I do as well. And that's why nobody's going home this week. That's why everybody did beautiful, but somebody gotta go. We let two go tonight. Stop. Yes. We sir. didn't let two so. go. Two forfeited. I, I wanted just to say that everybody seen well, not everybody, but the country let it didn't come in uniform. But he still showed up. So that shows a lot of integrity. That shows a lot of, you know, that I may not have the money to purchase this, but I still want to do this. Like a job. If you don't have it, you still show up. They're going to work with you. But just not showing up at all, you know, that says something. But he so uh, still because you know, everybody don't have the money to purchase it. So that's still a good thing, you know? Yes, it is, Judge. Thank you. So tomorrow we have detention. Nine and six, meet me here tomorrow at nine Eastern. You guys have detention. This is going to be behind the scenes. Detention. Oh, well, I didn't write no detention. I didn't write no detention. Well, son, I'm sorry. Hey. You went, uh, yeah, it's going down. Oh, tomorrow. Well, how are you? Period. <laughs> nine I don't six, want no got detention. Nine and six. Got <laughs> I know what. Can I know what I did? Homes are expelled and in an expulsion house. Mm. <laughs> nine and six got detention on my panel tomorrow at nine. Ladies, what you want? Eight Eastern or nine Eastern? Which one? I think we should do eight. 
eight Easter. Send these niggas home school. back to their mamas. And they have to come. And so I will be there in school counseling. Bronx want to do elimination so bad. Oh my God. One I'll person got to get out of my face. <laughs> Yay! Two people already left. Two. They ordered me food. Two people already food. left. Two people already left. Listen, uh, detention tomorrow. Do y'all agree with detention tomorrow? Hell, no. can, I, can, I, can I know what I did to get detention? We'll talk about it tomorrow. I'll give y'all a call before detention okay. starts. So, Rika will be getting a phone call from me. Uh, Farrell will be getting a phone call from me. Yeah, we're going to make this really uh, realistic. Um, and tomorrow's detention on my panel. Oh, mother may I just say, guess what? Tomorrow, oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, gonna... It's expelled. This is a competition. I want everybody to really remember what we are doing here. And it is a competition. I love how the, the challenge was to be vulnerable. Who was yes, the most sir. vulnerable? Who was the least vulnerable? Gotta and go. Oh, God. You got to so... Judge, leave me alone, Judge. Come on, leave me alone. No, y'all are bullying. Mm-hmm. Y'all are bullying. Uh, You're not They're bullying me. Out just let them. Just, just female do a poll. Y'all, let's be okay. fair. We need a Okay, so how about we do a poll about? Are you gonna bully Let's just do a poll. Nobody get expelled, but who 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 was wrong in this situation? Boo. I want y'all to listen to this. Let me tell you. Listen to my lady. Say what you said, lady. Say it, say it, my love. Number six. You gotta learn how to be quiet when the principal and the teacher is talking. You want to your mouth a little bit too much, like you the principal. So I really believe you need to be gone. You you should be gone. Everybody's trying to warn y'all. The ladies don't like that. I keep trying to warn y'all. So earlier, Pharaoh, earlier you came at number five, but and then you chapter number nine by Google. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. I keep trying to explain to y'all about the ladies over here. These are ladies that will follow you. These are supporters. Y'all fall back a little bit. My ladies are a little bit different from the other ladies. They come here for the Hallmark Channel. Do y'all understand that? They come here to see people Wait. love on each other and, and go through adversity and discuss. And that's what they're here for. They don't want the fight and this and the snarkiness. That's not what they're here for. And for okay. everybody in the comments, hold on, hold on. You just shouldn't have a question right now because for everybody in the comments, I'm the principal. Y'all can hate me or love me. It is what it is. And I'm doing my job. You. And like I said, one person needs to go. Two people expelled themselves. Let me get my free food. I want to be on a night. Let me get my free lunch. Let me get my free lunch. It's just, it's okay. me. I'm just, I I'm, need my I free lunch question. too. I have a Where's thing? my okay, free so lunch? Y'all got, y'all why, got is it, a why is it giving <laughs> question, why is it giving such a lecture with everyone? One call says one thing about me, but it was just four calls that said something about him. I just said, listen. But you didn't give a lecture for when everybody else was talking about him. I so give I don't a lecture. Understand. All I oh said was, "Oh my God, Pharaoh, do you see the backlash all I said that you're Pharaoh giving right now? It should never ever be no backlash. Oh, God. it's the backlash that makes the people y'all. hate you. It's the it's the backlash, Pharaoh. You gave an amazing <laughs> speech. You were so vulnerable tonight, and now you're yeah, you're giving amazing the backlash. Speech, but but it was y'all laughed about it. It was about anger. Like oh, no, we like laughed about it. Don't dare say that. that no, n- nobody ever that laughed beautiful. about you. Are you you got nothing Sarah? but props for that shit. Yeah, because yeah, I really feel like this. I'm not no, talking about y'all. I'm not talking about y'all, no, but I'm talking about... Who are you talking not about, y'all, Not y'all too, but for somebody to throw it in my face said... I, who, I res- who threw it in I your face? Think, listen, I thank you two, and I respect that because that was big of me to have to, you know, tap into my emotions and feelings. But for number nine to that say, was, you wrote about big anger, big that made me feel a certain type of way. You know what I'm internally... Oh, you know, number nine. I'm internally, oh, Empress, did you see number nine through his speech in his face? I I didn't really catch in the comments, that, but... Hello. And then we he, gotta record it. I'm Hello. over it. I don't know. How are you? I'm wonderful, beautiful. Hello. Thank you. Oh my god, yes. I don't know if I don't know I don't know if people missed it and the number is six, but keep it real and I'm not coming at you. I'm not trying to come at you. I really love your letter. But let's be honest, you literally started with number nine, and I'm not sure how everybody missed it. Answer. I wish I would have recorded it. We recorded. You know why I missed it? I answered the phone. Somebody called me, and I answered the phone. Okay, but to be honest, I, like, I see people in the comments that can see nine, but quite honestly, like I feel like. 
he might have felt like non story wasn't that in my opinion, but I was All right, beautiful. Can I ask you a question? Do you think I should bring them back to detention tomorrow? Um, the behind the scenes show? Um, I think it definitely should come to uh, attention, but my point is, he started with him, and he, this is the thing what he said. He said, but what you trying to say? I'm going to never start. He, he, he was almost out. So what he said about number the rest of the basically trying to say that number nine wasn't as Okay, so tomorrow, guess what we're gonna do, Judge? We're gonna bring that. We're gonna pull up YouTube and we're gonna play back. We're gonna play back the video tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do during detention. Okay, and then you guys will talk. We'll hash it out. Yeah, thank you so much for the conversation. Thank you, my love, for watching and supporting well, me. I appreciate you so much. I didn't. I didn't start well, with him, but what I did I say tell you was, this, Ma, I won't be at detention tomorrow. I have a million yes, things going Judge. on. I, I have a million things going on, and I don't Judge. agree with detention. Someone should have should have been expelled. These ladies trying to get rid of y'all. I'm sorry. I'm trying to save y'all behind. Hold on, callers. Nah, they still calling the phone. Yeah, they still call them because they got a lot to say. They are, they are, they want a poll. That's why <laughs> they want a poll. <laughs> yes, judge, they want a poll. Yes, judge. I don't want to be as soft as we were on yes, on charge school, you guys. These are men. I think we need to keep everybody on the on this on the panel another week. First of all, this is What's her name? We don't know her name. What's her name? What is her name, Ma? Can you get it? Because Brock gonna read you. No, he's gonna read you. This is daughter judge. You gonna get read. No, ma'am. Yes. You gonna get it. Bye. No. <laughs> no well, guess what? The last judge that just called in. <laughs> do not give a what about your opinion or you calling in. Okay. I don't give a what. Thank Can you for I calling give a in, what, judge. What for somebody needing to go. Everybody stay for the night. We have detention tomorrow. <laughs> Who's Look at all the what what? Who's all coming all to what, detention what? tomorrow? <laughs> Who's all coming to detention tomorrow? Can I get tomorrow? a what what? To see um, Pharaoh and Regan. <laughs> okay. No, it's all right.